Hello and welcome to our daily service at St Thomas's Church, Mellor. That's in South Manchester. My name's David Shercliffe and I'm one of the lay ministers at St Thomas's and you're very welcome. Let's just be quiet for a moment as we prepare to worship the Lord. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. And if you join me in lighting our candle today, to remind us that God is ever with us. Our psalm today is from Psalm 45. My heart is astir with gracious words as I make my song for the King. My tongue is the, the pen of a ready writer. You are the fairest of men, full of grace are your lips, for God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one. Gird on your majesty and glory. Ride on and prosper in the cause of truth and for the sake of humility and righteousness. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading before Liz comes and talks to us is from Micah chapter 4 verses 1 to 4a. But at the end of days the mountain of Yahweh's temple will be established as the most important mountain and raised above all other hills. All nations will stream towards it. Many people will come and say, come let us climb Yahweh's mountain to the temple of the God of Jacob, that we may be instructed in God's ways and walk in God's paths. Instruction will be given from Zion and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Yahweh will judge between many peoples and arbitrate between mighty and distant nations. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation will not raise the sword against another and never again will they train for war. People will sit under their own vines and fig trees with no one to make them afraid. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Every day many Christians pray at least once, your kingdom come, your will be done. I don't suppose many of us stop to consider what that might mean. In fact, sometimes when it comes to our intercessions, we tend to align our own interests with those of the kingdom of God. We might pray for our own nation with little thought of how it, how we, impact the lives of other nations and people groups. Micah prophesies that at some stage, God will judge between many peoples and arbitrate between strong nations. Swords will be beaten into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks and people won't learn war anymore. I would imagine for most of us that sounds a happy prospect, except perhaps our pensions are tied up in companies who need wars to prosper. It's a multi-billion pound industry after all. And what should we make of the final part of our reading? They shall all sit under our own fig trees and no one will make them afraid. The kingdom of God probably doesn't involve planting extra fig trees. It's more likely to involve those of us who have plenty of trees handing some over to those who have none. The kingdom of God does not come when we hold tight to what we have and tell those who have little to go get their own trees. 
it comes when those of us who have trees hand some over to those who have nothing. Where the kingdom of God is established, our desire is for truth and righteousness rather than for possessions. Thanks, Liz. Now we come to our time of prayers for others. Lord, we think of our social services and the hard work that they do in, um, in any event, but how much more difficult it is at the moment with the social distancing and the extra protection required. We think of all those who are visiting um, old and infirm in their own homes and the, the difficulties of keeping safe and but showing care and, and attention and healing wounds and dressing wounds. We ask for protection for all those who work in social services in all aspects of work to support those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we think of those who um, are taking advantage of this, uh, that when vulnerable people are vulnerable, and those who are perpetrators of crime, and also we think of the victims of crime. People are lonely and, and are alone and may be fearful of being burgled. And we pray for the um, police uh, and, and justice system, that it is ever vigilant to protect the members of our society. Give them strength uh, to uphold the law in every single case. We ask for protection for them, for wisdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Well, we think of the uh, aid agencies around the world and how quite naturally at the moment um, and very unfairly that people will be f feeling the pinch and worried about their own uh, prosperity and how giving has gone down to um, aid organisations. We think of people like Christians Against Poverty and who look after the, those who are uh, very short of money or have no money or are bankrupt and trying to make ends meet. We think of Christian Aid and the work that they do throughout the world trying to defend um, people who are less fortunate than ourselves. Let's just remember any particular aid organisation we give to just now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And our collect for today is, O Lord, our God, grant us grace to desire you with our whole heart, that so desiring we may seek and find you, and so finding may love you, and so loving may hate those who sin from which you have delivered us. Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer together in the traditional form today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen now as we go may god grant to the world justice truth and peace Amen.